Hello guys, welcome to Movies Explained. Today, I'm going to explain 1997 science fiction horror movie named Cube. So hitting like and subscribe button, let's get started to the video and spoilers ahead. The film opens with a man, Alderson, waking up in a cube-shaped room with glowing, computer circuit-like walls and six doors, one at the center of each wall, ceiling, and floor. After recovering from his confusion, he opens two of the doors and looks into them to find rooms that differ to the one he is in only by color. He then opens and goes through a third door. He looks around and then takes a step, but is suddenly cut into large square-shaped pieces. He falls apart and the rack of cross-hatched wires which diced him moves into view. It folds up and retracts. Later, in another room, several people find each other, Quinton, Worth, Holloway, Wren, and Levin. None of them know where they are, how they got there, or why they are there. Quinton, however, knows that there are traps, as he had looked into a room and nearly got his head cut off. The five decide to stay together and look for the way out. Wren takes the lead. He exemplifies how to test for traps by tossing a boot into the rooms while holding onto the laces to trigger potential traps, figuring that the trapped room contains motion detectors. Holloway speculates on several possible creators of the cube, being aliens or the government, his main options. Wren remarks that staying still will not solve anything, and says that they should move in a straight line until they get to the end. The others agree, and they begin moving through the rooms. While moving, they discover a series of different numbers on the hatchways between each of the rooms. At one point, Wren throws the boot in and does not find anything, but detects that the room has dry air and deduces that it most likely employs an electrochemical sensor, which detects hydrogen sulfide emitted from the skin. Quinton realizes that Wren is an escape artist who has escaped more than seven major prisons. Soon after, Wren jumps into a room tested with a boot and is sprayed in the face with acid. The others pull him back, but he dies as the acid corrodes his face and the inside of his head. The group decides that the room must have contained an electrochemical sensor which Wren missed and realize that they must find a better way of testing the rooms. Quinton asks everyone about their occupations. He says he is a police officer, Holloway says she is a doctor, and Worth says he works in an office building, doing office building stuff. Levin claims simply to hang out with her friends. Quinton believes that nothing is a coincidence, that each of them has a purpose in the cube. After Holloway talks about her rings and brooches, Quinton asks why Levin has her glasses, while Holloway has had her jewelry taken away. Levin reveals herself to excel at mathematics, and after looking at the numbers on a crawlspace, theorizes that when one of those numbers is prime, the room is booby-trapped. Levin's purpose becomes attempting to crack the cube's code, and they progress through the cubes. When they find themselves in a room with trapped rooms all around and below, Quinton checks the door in the ceiling, through which falls a seventh person, Kazan. He appears to be mentally handicapped. At least two of the others see him as a burden, but Holloway decides to bring him along. The group starts speculating about their surroundings, which causes a conflict between Quinton and Holloway. Quinton dismisses Holloway's ideas as conspiracy theories, and Holloway thinks that Quinton is naive. Soon after this, Quinton enters a room without prime numbers and narrowly avoids death from a trap consisting of rotating razor wires. Levin's theory that non-prime numbered rooms are safe is shown to be incorrect. Quinton begins suspecting that Worth is a spy, and is increasingly irritated by Kazan's mental state. The group rests, while Levin attempts to decipher the numbers. After some time, Quinton tricks Worth into revealing that he is one of the architects who designed the enormous cube-shaped shell which contains the cube-shaped rooms. When asked about who contracted him to do the job, he states that he doesn't know. Although the others begin to distrust Worth, Quinton going as far as beating him, he is able to give them information about the dimensions of the outer cube, it is 434 feet, 26 rooms, on each side, totaling 17,576 rooms. 
Levin then intuits that the numbers between the rooms could be encoded Cartesian coordinates representing the position of rooms within the cube. The group begins moving towards the nearest edge. As for the traps, they begin to boot the rooms again. The group is forced to pass through a room containing a sound-activated trap. Quinton argues to leave Kazan behind, but Holloway overrules him. Everyone makes it through, but when it is Quinton's turn, Kazan calls out, and nearly causes his death. Quinton, furious, nearly beats him, and when Holloway stops him, he turns on her and they argue heatedly, ending when Quinton slaps her. Despite the growing tensions, they continue. The group finally reaches one of the side edges of the cube, but discovers that there is a gap between the door and the outer shell. They fashion a rope from their clothes, and Holloway volunteers to swing out on the rope to investigate. As she is suspended outside the room, the cube shakes and Holloway nearly falls. Quinton catches her, but then lets her fall to her death. He tells the others that she slipped, but they are dubious. The group then decides to try to reach the bottom edge of the cube, but agree that they need to rest before setting out for it. As they sleep, Quinton carries Levin into another room. He tries to convince Levin to abandon the others, and makes sexual advances at her and becomes abusive when it is obvious that she dislikes him. Worth and Kazan awaken and save Levin. Quinton becomes paranoid and says that he did not trust Holloway, to which the rest of the group guesses that he let her die. Enraged, Quinton beats and then throws Worth through a door in the floor. Worth laughs hysterically at what he sees in that room, Ren's corpse. They think that they have been going in circles, but then Worth notices that the acid room which killed Ren is no longer adjacent to that room. He and Levin realize that the rooms must be moving. Levin also realizes that rooms which have traps are marked with numbers which are not simply prime numbers, as she had previously thought, but the larger set of prime powers. The prisoners then face the task of performing prime calculations of three three-digit numbers for every room they enter. Fortunately, Kazan is at this point is revealed to be an autistic savant with the capacity to perform these calculations quickly and easily. He utters the number of distinct prime factors each number has, as the room numbers are read to him. They make their way towards the exit safely with Kazan's help. Worth devises a plan to incapacitate Quinton, who has gone completely mad. Worth fights Quinton into a room below them and they leave him to die. They proceed and reach the bridge cube. When they open its door, bright light pours into the room. Worth announces that he will not go, as there is nothing for him in the world outside. As he and Levin share a moment, Quinton appears having somehow managed to catch up with the trio, and kills Levin by stabbing her with a door handle he somehow broke off a door. He stabs Worth as well, and grabs Kazan, who is climbing out. Worth grabs Quinton's leg with the last of his strength, and Quinton is crushed in the crawlspace between the cubes when the cubes realign. Having saved Kazan, Worth lies down next to Levin and dies. In the final shot, Kazan is seen walking slowly into a bright light. Thank you for watching. Turn on notification for more this types of videos.